Hola chicos y chicas y muy buenos días. Hoy vamos a hablar de direct object pronouns. In order to use a direct object pronoun, first we've got to figure out what the direct object is. And the direct object receives the action of the verb. Now you're probably thinking, what does that mean, Senorita McNally? But it's pretty easy. We do it in English all the time. And it almost always follows the verb in English and in Spanish. The direct object is going to follow the verb. So, for example, yo abro el libro. Yo is my subject. I'm the one that does the action. My verb is abro. I open. And then el libro is my direct object. I open the book. All right. So, again, it's following the verb and it's receiving the action. What do I open? I open the book. Otro ejemplo. Ellos completan la tarea. Ellos es el sujeto, completan es el verbo, y la tarea es el direct object. La tarea receives the verb, which is to complete. What do I complete? The homework. And por ejemplo número tres, nosotros sacamos las fotografías. We take the pictures. What do we take? The pictures. The pictures are my direct object. All right, so esto es direct objects. Now we're going to learn how to use the pronouns. All right, aquí tenemos pronouns. Pronouns replace a noun, a person, place, or a thing. So you know subject pronouns, he, she, it, um, y'all, they, but these are going to replace the direct object. So the direct object pronouns replace the direct object, and these are your choices. All right, so if you give something to me and I receive it, then that's me you, and then it. So you've been asking me how to say it. It's lo or la, or los or las. So here we go. They go before the verb. The direct object pronoun is going to go before the verb. Yo abro el libro. Yo lo abro. El libro is masculine singular, so it's going to be replaced with lo, and I put it before the verb. Yo lo abro. Then for ejemplo dos, nosotros sacamos las fotografías. Las fotografías is feminine plural, so we use las to replace it. And we get nosotros las sacamos. That is how you use the direct object pronoun. And again, it goes before the verb. Okay? So, poquito más ejemplos. Mi madre cocina el pollo. Mi madre is the subject. Cocina is el verbo. And el pollo is the direct object. So, el pollo is masculine singular. It's going to get replaced with lo. And we end up with mi madre lo cocina. And then, mi hermano y yo escuchamos la música. What do we listen to? La música, feminine singular. So, la música will be la, and we put it before the verb. Mi hermano y yo la escuchamos. We listen to it. And the last one, las chicas practican el fútbol. What do we practice? El fútbol, that's my direct object. El fútbol is masculine singular and it goes to lo. Las chicas lo practican. Each time, note that it's before the verb. Practice, listen, cook. Y ahora ustedes van a practicar. So in your notes, permiso, you are going to copy the sentence and underline the direct object. And then you're going to rewrite the sentence and replace the direct object with a direct object pronoun. So if we did one together, mis padres preparan la cena. What do they prepare? The dinner. La cena is what I would underline. And then I would replace it with la. So when you rewrite it, you would get mis padres la preparan. Completen el resto en su cuaderno y nos vemos pronto. Chao, chao.